Hey everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to go over 2019 Street Scrambler accessories and if they'll fit on a 2017 or 2018 model. I have, if you're not familiar, a 2017 model. Uh, so the three accessories we got, we're going to try is the, well, this kind of gives it away already, huh? We've got the uh, paneer for the 2019 model. And uh, so that's the, the rail and the bag. We got the skid plate for the 2019 model, as well as the high fender for the 2019 model. So the 2019 skid plate, uh, as you can see, fits just fine. It, uh, if you had, so I had the black aluminum skid plate that, that was a general skid plate for all the liquid cool engines. And this skid plate uses the same exact mounting point. So when you buy the skid plate, it has some pieces to install to mount it to. And because I already had the other skid plate, literally all I had to do was unscrew the old skid plate, the black aluminum one, and screw in the new one with four bolts. Four, four bolts, done. It was actually super simple. To change the oil, I'm gonna take the skid plate off, but that's fine because it actually covers the entire bottom of the motorcycle, uh, which, is, which is great. And one of the things I like about it is it covers up the side holes. So with the uh, black aluminum skid plate, you had holes in the side I happen to have little panels to fill that in that came with the Vance & Hines 2 in the one exhaust for the Street Twin. I was going to powder coat it black, but honestly I kind of like the contrast of the aluminum silver. I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it that way. It, I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah. So that's a confirmed uh, the skid plate from the 2019 model fits the 2017 and 2018 models no problem. And I will say supposedly it doesn't fit the when you have a center stand installed. But as you can see, I have a center stand installed and it totally fits. And I think it's just a, a, one of the mounting points you have to mount on the outside instead of the inside, which is what Caitlin and I had done with the black aluminum skid plate. So yeah, no issues with that. Looks great. I think it was 150 bucks and I think it's totally worth it. Um, especially if you actually go off road, it's totally worth it. You don't need it if you don't, but. The high fender does not bolt on to the 2017, 2018 models. So on the newer model, there's actually bolts under here that you can just bolt the uh, high fender on because the rectifier is hidden behind the radiator. Um, I was hoping that it would be the same size as the stock fender and I could use the British Customs high fender uh, bracket that I've been using, but uh, it, it doesn't fit, unfortunately. So now the lower fender, so when you buy the high fender piece, you get the high fender in the whatever color you choose, and you get this low fender just to protect the radiator. The low fender works just fine. It's the same, same mounting points as the stock fender on the 2017 and 2018 model, but unfortunately, the high fender just doesn't work. I was going to make a custom bracket with a Calvin for the high fender, but I think I'm just going to put the stock fender back on better for the better for the trip to, to have that for, because, you know, the high fender, you're going to kick up stuff. So um, I think I'm just going to do that. So, so basically, to reiterate, the, the, the high fender for the 2019 models will not fit a 2017 or 2018 model without making a custom bracket to, to suspend it from. Now, it wouldn't be that hard to make a custom bracket, but you're going to have it made. Uh, it won't work with the British Customs bracket, unfortunately. And last but not least is the paneer for the 2019 model. Uh, yeah, this is really simple. It's a uh, bolt-on, just, like um, just like the other paneer the, from the wax cotton bag that I had. It bolts onto the shock and the passenger foot peg. And uh, unlike that one, it's not chrome, thankfully. And then uh, the paneer is great. It's like double the size as the wax cotton bag. 
and it locks right onto the frame uh, on these mounting points here. Oh, and this one needs to get tight, and um, it mounts right onto here, and you can actually lock it onto the frame. It's a waterproof, I think it's a water-resistant re bag, but there's a waterproof liner inside. So, yeah, that was, a, that was another really easy, simple uh, bolt-on piece that's uh, compatible. So 2019 uh, wax cotton paneer fits on the 2017 and 18 models. I should say it's really the rack that fits. The bag is fine, but the rack is what you need. The cool thing is if I get a Scrambler 1200 in the future, I'd have to buy the rack for that motorcycle, but I could still use the same bag. So, yeah, so pretty cool. And yesterday I put a bunch of stuff in it from Cycle Gear and Target for the trip. And inside the bag, I think it says the weight is eight pounds. And certainly we tested the weight limit because I put this on the scale and it tips at 23 pounds. So to give you an example, how useful this is. Mary Poppins bag. Put that on. So thank you for watching. I hope this was informative for you. If you have a 2017, 2018 model and you would curious about getting some of these accessories in the newer bike. Uh, I am starting a trip. Actually, the time this video airs, I'll be already on the trip. So if you want to follow me, I'm going to be going from Key West, Florida to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska on this motorcycle. You can follow me on Instagram, at Scrambler Stories. And, uh, and then I'm going to do a YouTube video of the whole adventure, but that's going to probably take a few months after the trip is done to do all the editing. And, and you know, I want, I want to make sure I do a really good job. But you can follow me on Instagram for real-time updates on the trip. And then uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already to see how that trip comes out on video. As always, I appreciate you watching. Take care and scramble on. Kill me again, Mr. Bartender, please. I need a shot and I'm begging no.